What's poppin' guys and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Today we are doing something that I do not get to do a whole lot and that is go farm pond bass fishing. Y'all know it, y'all have heard about it if you haven't done it yourself. Farm ponds are just loaded with big fish, they're loaded with a lot of fish and if they aren't pressured a lot, you know, those are the types of ponds you can catch a PB out of and that is what I'm hoping might happen today. A guy named Brian invited me out there to fish. He actually was in a video about six or seven months ago when we met. I just ran into him at a pond, introduced myself, we hit it off and he was out there car fishing, taught me some stuff about that and you know he just watched me smack some fish on a blade bait. I think I actually caught like a six and a half pounder with him. So he wanted to bring me out to his farm pond, see what kind of damage we could do out there and he sent me some pictures of some fish that he caught over five. Father's Day weekend with his dad like literally like a, a week and a half ago and they smoked him caught a bunch of threes fours I think he even caught like a six and a half so the potential is there and supposedly a bunch of big fish have been caught out there like 10 plus pounds so you know I, we just got to get out there and see what happens but before we head there guys I want to go ahead and do another giveaway for y'all I want to give away another Gomexis aftermarket handle right here and this is the new a27 handle color black colorful there's also another new color called smoke silver but besides that guys if you've never checked these out i highly recommend you do so there will be a link to their website down in the description below and you can also use code ftf at checkout to get 10 percent off on all the handles but far as just as a functional standpoint goes these provide a lot of cool features that just typical stock handles don't have far as the knobs themselves go they're made from a tpe material which is stronger than most metals and that is just allows for an awesome grip both in just hot and cold environments wet or dry no matter the conditions you're gonna have awesome grip on your handles the shaft itself is also extra thick which allows for maximum cranking power and then the knobs themselves have a high-speed Japanese bearing in them which allows for you to get as fast as possible grip when you actually start to crank so as you can tell this little handle has all kinds of features and I highly highly recommend them and they also have some other cool handles as well and I've been using all of them for the last few months and I cannot say enough enough good things about them but if you want a chance at winning this little guy I'm gonna need you to do two things I'm gonna need you to one like the video and then two drop a comment down below letting me know what your favorite color of the a27 handle is I'm gonna throw them all up on the screen so y'all can see them but anyways guys we have about a 20 25 minute drive out to where we're actually gonna go meet Brian and then we got to drive from his place all the way out there I don't even know how far it is it's pretty far out in the country so let me go ahead and put this car in reverse and get out of here and I will catch y'all when we get there. Is this the small pond or the bigger pond? Cool, cool. I'm already liking the way this looks. This is the pond that you caught the big one out of here last time? Oh yeah. This is looking juicy. Right, that works. Go ahead and get situated. Well guys, I'm going to start out with the sexy dog right here. If I can get it untangled from the rest of my stuff. Just a good little walking bait. Brian over here said last time he was out here for Father's Day a few days ago, he was just smoking them on top water. What were y'all throwing mostly? Top water frogs. Top Any, water frogs. Big, aggressive, noisy man. That's so awesome. That ought to get something big. There's he said there's a couple 12s in here too. Oh man, <laughs> you see, be prepared to see me geek out if I if I catch anything over eight pounds. I wanna scream like a little girl. <laughs> you say you caught that big one up in here? Right here? Yeah, come right over here on that. Cast straight, straight towards that shady spot and drag it as close as you can to that tree. Okay, I'm gonna try up in here really quick. There's something. Real shallow in here. Oh God, I got really freaking tangled. What'd you do? Did you just fall in? <laughs> I heard splash. I thought you hooked one and I turned around and you're in the pond. <laughs> I'm going to walk around this way a little bit. Let's see if I can get across this little dam right here. 
that much trouble. Oh, this is a trickier spot. There we go. Not too bad. I kind of want to get over here. There's like a big shade line. I think that might be one of my better options for this top water right now. It's a little early for it. You know, it's probably about, I don't know, three or four o'clock. So I think it'll definitely pick up once that sun really starts to come down later in the day. But we're going to try these little shady spots while we're at it. I really want to catch something big on top water. That would be just awesome. Oh, what a cast. Ooh, there we go. First fish right up there in the grass. And it's a nice one. Start the day off. Supposedly this is small for this pond. We got one that's probably about two pounds. Not a bad way to start it. And she is just healthy, guys. A healthy looking fish. She's got a lot of energy. I'm trying to pin her down real good while I get these pliers out. Oh gosh, she's not happy with me. Got those pliers out. Hold on, honey, let me get this hook out for you. There we go. But that's our first fish. Came up and just smacked that sexy dog. I'm sure she's not gonna be the, be the last. I'm hoping we can catch a bass that could eat this one today. But we're just gonna have to see. Supposedly there's some giants, but that is a promising sign. A really nice, healthy two. Got that all untangled. Getting one on top water is always exciting. I'm gonna come around here and try to hit this little shade pocket over here where I just couldn't quite reach from where we were standing earlier. Let's see if there's something up on this. Oh God, I just got smacked. absolutely <laughs> smack right there just pulverize that thing out of the water they're hitting it hard they're hitting it real hard let's try to get back in there see if we'll eat again no luck with that i'm gonna come back over here try this shade some more Good God. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. These fish are aggressive. They could just get the thing in their mouth. Is there a way for me to walk through here? Well, I was gonna just walk around like that side. All right. Oh yeah, I see the path. We're good. Well, not really sure what happened there. But somehow my knot came untied and I just flung my, my bait somewhere into that tree. <laughs> oh, love that. Just gotta love it. It's splendid. I guess it's better to do that than on a fish. Made it back, but instead of tying on another walking bait, I'm actually gonna pick up this wake bait for a second and also this lipless and we're gonna kind of work our way around the pond with these two. I want to give this wake bait a shot. I don't think I've actually fished with one of these on the channel at all. This is not something I typically throw, but it's something I've been wanting to try a little bit more. It just looks like a, you know, a regular crankbait, but that bill's like really steep. So this thing just runs right at the surface and wobbles back and forth like a crankbait, but just right on top of the water. So I want to see if I can get something going with this thing. I don't know if they'll eat this or not. Oh, golly, man. 
clobber that. I can't tell how big this fish is, but he looks like he's got some decent size. Oh my God, that was an aggressive blow up. He was pissed. He was pissed. Another healthy fish, guys. A little bit better than that last one, it looks like. Oh, that came right off. But I'd say somewhere in that, you know, mid two pound range, these fish just hit so dang hard in here. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. Now if I can just get a bite like that from a freaking mega, we're gonna be having a good day. All she goes. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, this thing bombs. Uh, two tap, lipless crankbait. Oh yeah, you'll have to give this a chuck. <laughs> this this reel is ridiculous, bro. This one doesn't come out till like uh you know like a like a month or two. Just give this thing a bomb real quick. Just give her a chuck. I just want to see your your reaction. I'll I'll, I'll get that for you. I'll it all the way to the bank, man. Let her rip. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that BB1 Pro, man. That thing is a dream, dude. When it comes out and I can get my hands on one, I'll get you one. What do you got on that? What'd you say? What test you got on there? This is 12. Flora. Yeah, it's well flora. That's usually what I use for cranking. Bust out the old KVD popping perch really quick. Probably give this a few casts here and there when appropriate. This tree's looking like a good spot. Just try between these two bushes right here. Aerial attack. Oh, golly, right there at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> just destroyed that frog man right up there on the edge that's crazy i could see you know the bottom a little bit right there but i had no idea that fish was chilling like that and look how he ate it just all the way in the back that is how you want it not bad for an average size bass about two and a half let me go ahead and put her back in put her right back where she came from later well, let's get this thing back out there guys that was exciting <laughs> nothing like a topwater bite right in front of your face Oh, good golly, man. Golly. Holy smokes. <laughs> but yes, I have had one eat it when it's in, been in the tree. Gosh. These fish are so aggressive. <laughs> he was like kind of in the, between the tree, that twig and the tree over there. Yeah, that's the best one so far, easily. Man, man, that's a good fish. They're so aggressive. Like the, the aggressiveness is what's just blowing my mind right now. They're hitting so hard and they just take off. He was just whoosh, all over the place. Wow, wow, guys. I don't even know what to think. I don't even know what I'm gonna do if I hook a big one. Sheesh. No, it is not. Prime time is, has not hit yet. 
Keep it coming. Walk it down this way a little bit, get that shallow in. Yeah, sounds good to me, brother. Let's just keep the top water going. Yeah, just keep the top water rolling. Man, walking up to this shallow into this pond. All I've been hearing since we got here is just psh, psh, back in this corner. So I'm hoping we can get back here and join the party. We're just gonna frog out here in the middle. Why not? This was definitely the most productive pond. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There we go. Got him. Freaking clobber that frog out there in the middle. <laughs> Check that out. Chunky boy. Just crushed it, man. Came all the way out of the water. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun topwater fishing in a while, man. These fish are just blowing my mind with how aggressive they are. <laughs> I mean, that is not like a ginormous fish, but he just crushed that thing. Solid like two pounder. Thanks, bud. Oh, oh, one more jump. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, there you go, Brian. Big one? Oh, yeah. That, that's a nice one. Yeah, that might have been the one that I missed. That's probably one of the best ones so far today. And it's white, too. Freaking healthy. What, what does it mean when they're white like that? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Male, female? I, honestly, I, I couldn't give you a good answer for that. I know when they're really dark is usually when they're, like, up under some thick cover or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> About three and a half. Oh yeah, like three something. Whoa! <laughs> One last dance. <laughs> Can I walk through this direction? Okay, cool. I'm gonna run back and switch baits really quick. Well, guys, I decided to go with the chatter bait. I'll walk back over here to this bank over here. See if I can't get anything going with this thing. <clears throat> so I. Ooh, dude, big one. I just spooked a big one. Yeah, like, like six plus, easy. Oh. Oh. That's just miserable. That'll be fun to get out. Oh. When I sit down to pick out a backlash, you know it's bad. A came out. <laughs> Yes, got lucky with that one. Oh, good one. Well, that's decent. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, I just swim around. Well, there's one right at the bank, dude. Right at the freaking bank. On, on the old Thunder Cricket, baby. I was like, what? In, I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> right at my feet. Pop that out. Another nice one on the old Thunder. Shoot. Ooh. Ooh. Right there in the bank. 
Let's go. That's a good one too. He's been up in the up in the bushes, man. He's been up in the thick stuff if he's dark like that. <laughs> not the one right at the You are not kidding, man. I'll play it to the very end. Dude, these fish play are... It to the very end. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like the third or fourth fish I've caught, like literally as close as you possibly can to the edge of the bank. Well guys, that was a ton of fun. I had so much fun out there today. We just caught a ton of fish. Those fish were super aggressive. Unfortunately, I spooked the biggest one that we came across, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and I'll definitely be going out there with Brian again to hopefully find us some more big old bass. But anyways, guys, bass in his passion. Peace.